The highest honor a country can confer upon a citizen is to declare their birthday a national holiday. This does not happen often. Indeed, only a few times in our nation's history. In 1968, a grief-stricken congressman from Detroit called upon the nation to honor Martin Luther King Jr. in this way. Only four days had passed since Dr. King had been killed by an assassin's bullet when Representative John Conyers introduced a bill into Congress asking that Dr. King's birthday be made into a national holiday. Our nation is indebted to Dr. King for crystallizing through action the words of our Constitution. Dr. King called upon the nation to renew its pledge to the Constitution which guarantees peace, equality, and freedom. It would take many years before the nation would recognize the need to honor him with a national holiday. With persistent conviction, the early supporters of the holiday continued to gain momentum. Millions of petitions were signed and thousands marched in favor of the passage of the national holiday bill. Today is Martin's Day. We are here to thank God for giving us the life and the leadership of Martin Luther King, Jr. Today is Martin's Day. Now, it doesn't make much sense. Ought to be a long game. Anyone to take the fence. And, uh, Just how much we love you, and I'm sure you would agree, but to fit up perfectly, that you have a world party on the day you came to be. Happy Love and unity to all. 